three. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm reacting to the Angry Grandma Bear prank. I'm gonna check this out. If you guys like the video, like I said, I give this video a big thumbs up. Give this video to 30 likes. I say on this one. Let's, let's go with that. 30 likes in this video. Also hit the subscribe button down below. I am trying to get to 6,500 subs by the end of June. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> I just don't know if that's possible or not. We're only on 5,300. Actually, we actually are really close to getting. Um. Oh wow, it actually focused for once. Wow, that's crazy. Um, 5,400 subs though. Huh. You know what I'm saying? So. We are actually really close to 5,400, so that's the goal right now. If you guys are seeing this video and you guys aren't already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Um, try to get me to 5,400 subs by, by the end of today. That'd be great. So, either way, let's get into the video. Bear prank on Grandma. Let's go. I feel like their intro might be like one of the most like recognizable ever. Anyway. Fucking thing to watch on TV here. Just keep. I don't think any, there's anything to watch on TV ever, in my opinion. Looking. I mean, I don't watch I TV, fucked. but. They the fucking thing on, motherfucker. Why the quarters? Fuck? Oh. Look at her climbing over that shit. It's actually a decent show, son, though. It's interesting to watch people. Looking. Paper plates. Food. I mean, I've seen a lot of the hoarder shows that are mostly, um, they have pets, right? And obviously when you're a hoarder, the chances are they don't go outside much, okay? And so whenever the dog, gets, dog or cat, whoever, has to go to the bathroom, they'll just go on the floor in hoarder's houses. So that's the worst part, in my opinion. That's the worst part. Imagine what it smells like when you walk into those houses, dude. Ooh, baby. I don't know why I said baby, but anyway, he moved. It's early, okay? What in the fuck? She's going through the fucking garbage. She's got fucking garbage. Everybody's got garbage, but she's just got a lot of it. Wherever she wants to. It don't make a fuck. Can you imagine what that damn thing smells like? I bet it smells like a damn big garbage stuff. At least she's going to try and get to her mom's house clean the fuck up. Well, that's the problem though. There's a lot of times they don't want to clean it up. It's like, oh my god, it's memorabilia. I can't throw that away, which is why they're hoarders to begin with. Um, I say I am saying hoarders, by the way, not whores or the other words. Um, just want to say that because my English is bad. So, but either way though, it's like uh, a lot of times they don't want to get rid of it, and so that's that's like the whole drama filled of the whole entire shows at the time are always just like because the people start flipping out and going. I don't want to throw it away. It's not getting thrown away. And then they, and then they act like they're going to give up on them and just walk away and not help them out, you know, to create the drama. Then you get, the, then you get like the two, two or three minute ad, the classic, you know, so. Our bitch and shit. Enough yapping. Every fucking thing else in it, just pile it all up in piles and set it out there and set it on fire. Set it on fire, Jesus. How much Jesus. would they have to pay you to uh, stay the night at that house? Oh. I would stay the damn night at the house. Bro, you I'd, got some diseases in that thing, I'd bro. I'd fucking sleep outside before I'd sleep that damn shit. Jesus. Hell, I wouldn't... Uh, fuck no, you couldn't pay me enough money to sleep in that fucking house. If I wanted to smell shit all night, I'd sleep... I'd go out and find me a damn porta potty. It would probably smell fucking better than that damn place does. At least I know where the shit smell coming from. I do wonder where the where hoarders get their like, you know what I'm saying, like where it all comes from. I mean, were they raised a certain way? Is that what is that how hoarders become hoarders? I don't know how that works. I mean, let me know down below if you guys know. If you guys know like the psychological, <laughs> the psychological um, meaning behind why people become hoarders. I don't know. At least I know where the shit smell comes from. Doesn't make much from. sense to me, but that's just me. Really, so. I'm thinking about calling the show Hoarders to investigate uh, your bedroom because you do kind of be, you do Way. store a lot of stuff in your bedroom. I might store a lot of stuff, but it's put up. At least I can get around my room. At least my bed's cleaned off. At least I ain't got no human shit in it. Human. You save like a lot of human. stuff that human. should be saved. You, I, one time you saved one of your dirty diapers. Oh. No, I didn't save no fucking dirty diaper. Now you are a lied like a motherfucker. Yeah, you did. You lied. What, what happened that one time? If I had a shitty diaper, it would have been thrown in your fucking room. You did end up throwing it in my room. No, I didn't. That is true, actually. Okay, that part's mattress. right. 
I didn't have no fucking two-year-old milk cart in my refrigerator ain't that fucking big. Motherfucker, you sat in there lying like hell. It was all curdled. Oh, God. Bullshit! You lying asshole. It said it, it, it expires April the 30th. Well, all milk's got dates on it when it expires, motherfucker. But mine never has. But I'll tell you what, you got a, a damn bottle of milk in your refrigerator, and I'd hate to take the fucking cap off of it. You're lying. The fuck I am. What the fuck does that say? Since April the 4th. And what's today? This is April the fucking 12th. It's Going on the fucking 13th. It's over a week oh, old, fucker. okay. If that ain't spoiled, what the hell is it? Granny. Oh, she kind of proved oh, you wrong, Jake. It, ten days overdue. Granny. Ten. Ten fucking days. This milk is still good, though. Oh, uh-uh. Oh, fuck. Motherfucker. Boy, you ain't any fucking thing, won't you? That damn shit ain't no good. It's sour. Seared. I never heard her say that word before. Jesus. Uh, what I was gonna say is, if if bro, if milk is like two days away from the due date, I will not drink it. That's, that's how like that's how bad I am when it comes to rotten, especially milk. Is it most rotten things? If it's anywhere near the due date, I just won't eat it or won't drink it. And it's just how it is. I don't want to risk anything. Mostly because I got PTSD from drinking the getting rotten milk all the time in school. Like, there was multiple times where I would pick up a milk carton and drink and open it up and it would be all... all <laughs> it'd be chunky, put it that way. That damn about shit anymore. ain't no good. It's sour. Sour. Son of a bitch. Did you been eating that on your fucking cereal? Wait a minute. Shh. Yeah, stand there. No wonder. No, Tartan. Is that, no wonder. Hey, it's that, that curdled milk. Shit on your fucking self all the time. Shit. You got shit all over your fucking yard. Raptor, raptor. Oh my god. Raptor, So what? More sticking. I mean, so up. what? They ain't no wonder I, did, I stepped in it the other day, motherfucker, because you don't clean the damn shit up. Unlock it. What? Unlock the fucking door. I thought you had the keys. Fuck no, what would I be doing with the fucking keys? My god, I locked them in the house. Well, motherfucker, you better get your fucking ass in there some way and get. I'm gonna the guess damn he didn't keys. do that. He's just the messing with it. The are attached to my car keys. Well, how the fuck, you stupid ass oh. motherfucker? How she believes that it. Break my motherfucking finger. I, I, whoa, you <laughs> stupid ass motherfucker. Do you know how to break in a house? I'm sure she's done it back in the fuck day. No! Boy, you better be lucky. Did they actually lock it? Thing open, you motherfucker. Did he actually lock him in the house? My keys are on the counter. Well, you're screwed. Son of a bitch! The other fucking door's locked. You can't get in without breaking it. You can't break that damn door. What are we gonna do? I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do. God dead, dead, damn it. Damn, Paul, fucking dog shit. I'm going over here. What? Fucking Paul, dog shit on you, damn What boy. the hell? How did that oh, get there? Th I don't know. Uh, do you ever think maybe a fucking dog walked up there and shit? I hope the fuck you give somebody else a fucking key to get in the house. I gave you a key. What'd you do with it? You didn't give me shit, motherfucker. Yeah, he, don't, he doesn't seem very responsible when it comes to his keys and things. Obviously, this could be script, not scripted, but just, I don't know. Maybe he, maybe he's just lying to her and saying he doesn't have the keys, but he does. Or, or whatever, even if it isn't. What I'm trying to say is I think he should probably have a spare. Most people should have a spare. I mean, eh. For situations like this, you know, and then you look back at it and you go, why didn't I, get, why didn't I just get a spare? You know, all I had to do is take two seconds to go to a store and go get an, an extra copy of my key. It's all I had to do. And then now he's, you know, the position they're in now. So. Don't put that shit on me. If you guys don't have a spare for your keys, do you do give it. anybody an extra key? No! Idiot. Well, you're fucked again. I mean, I wouldn't give somebody else my, my house key, but. Oh, I got it what? now. Of course. Yep. They've been in my pocket this whole. 
You stupid ice mother He, he knew, what? come on. You know, Granny. Shit, it's hot. One day it's fucking cold, snowing, raining, and all that fucking shit. Yeah. Next day you burn your fucking ice up. Where in the hell are you going? We're going to check the mailbox, right? You know it ain't this way. What do you mean it's not this way? I go this way all the time. Oh, motherfucker, here we go again. I tell you, I can... Fuck! Jesus. What's your problem? <laughs> I'm hot. You want me to turn the uh, cold air on? Fuck no, I'll roll my fucking window down. This is angry grandma. Okay. And I got a letter from Taco Bell. And they sent me a fucking $50 gift card, and I appreciate that fucking gift card. I really like all your disguised food. And also, could you fucking give me Why she six so much on purpose? tacos minus lettuce, because the lettuce gives me the shits. Probably dying Baja... in there right now, dude. What's the name of it? What's the name of I it? I wanted the Baja Blast. The Baja Blast! Okay, anything else? Nope, that'd be it. Is everything correct on the screen? Yeah. Thank you, 1530 at the window. $11 for four, six tacos? That's actually a pretty good deal, I mean. No wonder they could afford to send me a $50 gift card. Now what are they watching? Hoarders again? <laughs> That's a vibe right there, eating tacos, watching TV. Jeez. Animals shouldn't live like that. Crocodile tears. That's what that looks like. I was gonna say, she didn't drain nothing. Oh, it is hoarders. Wait, what? She's not crying, put it that way, Jake. I that bitch wasn't even crying. They yeah, it is. Fucking tear running down. That did not look real at all. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's full of shit. What's in it, the... What, it's full of shit. What's in the toilet? Shit, motherfucker. Oh, my lord. Got bipolar, I think. What is that, Gran? I thought her taco it, it was full of crap. down to Smoky Mountain Bigfoot Conference, July the 23rd. Uh-oh. Uh, 22. Let's see what it says. Is Bigfoot gonna be there? <laughs> Fuck no! From a 25 to 150 friggin' dollars. Jesus! What? Like what? me and you, if we wanted to go, we could buy our ticket for anywhere from $25 Not worth it at all. Just saying. Not worth so it at all. We sponsored the place. What does it say at the bottom for sponsorships? It says sponsorships. How much would we have to pay then? Prime Go and community sponsorships available. 250 to $5,000? Big range. I mean, <laughs> cat shit. You I ain't spending that much. That's for sure. Who in nope. The got I am good. I got two hundred fifty fucking dollars, let alone five thousand dollars. Yeah. Might have to get a loan out just for that. Be Bigfoot evidence there? Why is it so much? It says we will once again assemble some of America's most experienced and engaging Bigfoot researchers. Okay, big researchers. Yeah, they're big time big researchers when they've never even got anywhere near close to catching Bigfoot whatsoever. But they're so good, though. They're super good researchers, but they're nowhere near actually being able to catch them. Yeah. It's just gonna be fucking people. Must not be too great if you're not catching them. Bigfoot researchers. That's, uh, writing shit they don't even know a fucking thing about, which I don't either. Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> And investigators. 
They got investigators out hunting Bigfoot? Hell no! You it would be kind of funny if she went over there and just started, like, talking to them and telling them they're a bunch of liars or something. That'd be kind of funny. Of course, she would just get kicked out. But it'd be funny, though. Listen to these fucking people talk. Just go there just to make Who fun of them. Who the fuck or... wants to hear that? I want to see Bigfoot. I don't want to hear about people talking about him. Fuck. You can watch that on YouTube and or something. I don't, you don't get have it. So they're going to have experienced Bigfoot hunters there talking? Yeah. Like a conference. So why, why, weren't, why weren't you able to... Why weren't we invited? Yeah, why did they have to send it to where we have to buy a ticket? And I take it the sponsorship thing, the $5,000, is for us to film there. Fuck, I don't know what it is. What were we going to do, Graham? Not a motherfucking thing, I'll tell you yeah, what. She ain't going to that, that's for sure. We should have just been invited to the motherfucking thing. I mean, maybe we could still go. Fuck that, I don't want to hear people talking about him. I want to see the motherfucker. Exactly, you don't really get... Well, maybe it's you... definitely not worth the amount of money that it costs to go, for sure. There ain't no way. You can you literally do, get the exact same kind of kind of information, probably, like, on YouTube or whatever. For free, even. We can just go and ask and on $200. Maybe they, maybe they know some shit that we don't. Hmm. Maybe they are more experienced than you. And we can get the kind of information Hell, for free somewhere. Hell, I've been hunting not. him ever since I was uh, about 15 years old. When I got old enough... For up big enough to take care of myself. Fuck! What you talking about? I found out <laughs> shit about him. Oh. Yeah, I was calling about uh, the Bigfoot conference. Okay. I was just wondering who's going to be there. We are still figuring that out. Uh, we've got one guy that's confirmed as a speaker out of. Oh, that's cool. They, they want you to spend. Uh, they want you to spend a couple hundred dollars to a thousand dollars or more on uh, a press conference that you don't even know who's going to be there yet. Seems pretty. Uh, seems pretty reasonable. I think what I, I think that's what I would do. I think I would go ahead and go spend five thousand dollars to go to a, a, a press conference that they don't even know who's there yet. Um, we've got one guy that's confirmed as a speaker out of Wisconsin. Uh huh. And we're trying to get some Michigan guys, maybe an Ohio and an Indiana guy as well. Yeah. So. Uh, so. No, I hated bothering you, but I uh, found your number on a website or something. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> because I'll tell you what, I've been hunting that big foot Sasquatch son of a bitch for years and I was wondering maybe you could help me okay is there any kind of pointers that you could give me and tell me about catching him or even seeing him cause I'm telling you I can't find him no fucking work if I approach it just like I do anytime I'm hunting something is I First, I identify where where they're going to be able to hide. I go off of where people have seen it before, seen seen it before, and you just not sound like he wants to be talking to. Yeah. Got some, I so basically what I've done up here is I found some hot spots, and then we started to just go and put ourselves in the woods. Um, when you, well, at least for us, when we've when we've gone in trying to sneak around, yeah, to catch a glimpse. We don't we don't see anything, we don't hear anything, nothing happens. Yeah. When when we just go out and we act like normal goofy campers in the woods. Right. Make make some noise, be interesting. Yeah. Then we start then we start to get the wood knocks, we start to get rocks thrown at us. Oh Lord. Things like that. So Oh so, really? Oh uh, so you be out be out in the woods and enjoy yourself. So and just be observant while you're doing that. So uh in other words Go back in the woods and just uh, make all kinds of noise and everything. Not, not so much make all kinds of noise, but make make some noise. Don't don't try to hide the fact that you're in the woods, because the way I guess the way I look at it is, if someone tried to sneak into your house, yeah, you'd hear that you'd hear that floorboard creak that you know exactly where it is. 
and yeah. put you on alert. Yeah. Where if someone just came, knocked on the door, and walked inside and started talking to you, you're a little more at ease. Yeah. So I think it's kind of the same way with them. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I'd be. Uh, no. I don't think I'd be more at ease with either one of them. If some stranger walks into my house, he's getting clocked. Some some stranger walks in my house, and he's sneaking around, trying to, you know, what I'm saying, break in. He's getting clocked. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I don't think it really matters either one. I don't think how you walk into a house and, and like, you know, intrude into their uh, property or whatever you want to say, it makes any difference. I think it's no matter what, you're going to have the same kind of result. But that's the thing. Is I mean, like he said though, he's not wrong. I feel like with Bigfoot, you know, he you probably would be more tempted to come out and give you some evidence if you're just acting like you don't even know he's there or even care whatsoever, for sure. It's kind of the same way with them. He's just yeah. an animal at the end of the day, I think, right? So, I know. Uh, let them think they're doing the observing and you're the one that's picking up on what they're, on their mistakes. Oh, that's it. Be like I know, uh, when I was little, I swore I seen him. But uh, for sure, I, you know, I'm at that point. I don't know if it was really him or a bear, but it didn't. What no bear that I seen running. You know what I'm saying? Because we live back in the woods. Yep. yep. And that was just about like uh, when uh, how I seen him. I was just little, but I could just barely remember it. Yep. Is uh. My brother had to go to the toilet. You know, we had the outhouses. He was taking a, a dump, a shit. <laughs> yep. And uh, all of a sudden, I seen something, you know. I didn't know what the devil it was. And uh, he shook the toilet with my brother in it. <laughs> and I thought, what the heck's going on, you know, because... Fuck, I didn't know. And then I seen him, because we had a big mountain behind our house, behind the toilet. It was just straight uphill, you know, into the woods, mountains. Mountains, okay. huh? Okay. I mountain seen him man. running up that dang up hill, and I don't know what it was, but I swore it's him. So it's bothered me for a few years while I forgot about it, you know. Then as I got older and older, I got to thinking about when I was little and I happened to think about that and I just wondered. And me and my grandson, me and him been out in the woods two or three times, you know. Looking. But I don't think we've been going deep enough back in them to find anything. And somebody sent me one of those tree knockers and I would use okay. it. Yep. But, uh, See, I've, I've I, never had luck knocking to one. Yeah. I've had I've had luck doing like whoops and howls. Somebody says that Bigfoot goes like ee 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 ee. Is that true? Sometimes they they make all kinds of different. It's just like a, well, a I've monkey been doing noise. That like, oh, well, it's a Sasquatch. It means I'm gonna make some monkey noises and it's gonna start coming out. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, about it, winter so. time comes on and I'm getting too old to get out when it's winter. But we try and make it out in the summertime. And I use that call to take my tree knocker. <laughs> but, but we ain't, we ain't had no luck. I guess we ain't going to the right damn spots. It, it's another big. It's another name for a bigfoot, but it's it's a case from I think the sixties, sixties or seventies, where they had a whole bunch of sightings all at one time. Oh motherfucker! Do so, you know uh, where that was at? Holy shit. Yeah, I'll have my grandson. Huh? Yeah. You'd be able to narrow yourself down from a whole county to maybe a township. So. Holy shit. Oh, shit. In the right spot at the right time. Yep, I, I could have my grandson to look all those places up for me. Yep. Hey, what kind of evidence do you have to look for? Aren't something that normally happen in the woods on their own. Yeah. So you should be able. You should be able to find some tree structures that are X's, asterisks, things like that. We're getting a lot of information yeah. here, huh? You can look 
watch the ground for footprints, of course. Area 61? <laughs> I call it 61, 71. Hey, I, I can't remember shit no way, so they ain't <laughs> no difference. He's wanting to go out there and want me to go with him, and I told him, I'm damn, if I was going to get my brain weight fried. Well, they went anyway. I ain't got much left now. I almost got arrested. I fucking love you. I really do love you for answering all of my fucking questions. Yeah, not a problem. I'll let you go. All righty. Bye. All right, hey, what's up, you guys? Today I'm gonna be Let's go. For Grant. Oh, I thought she was coming. All right, whenever she goes out to smoke a cigarette tonight, I bought this super realistic bear costume I ordered online a few oh, weeks that, ago. That looks super realistic. In today, I'm gonna put it on, and while she's out smoking a cigarette, I'm gonna see if I can scare her with it. How late is this? That's the thing, though. This time there wasn't any build-up in it, you know? But the Bigfoot one, they were going Bigfoot hunting, so it made sense. But this one's just going to be kind of random. Oh, the music's getting louder. It must be coming. Hopefully he just starts roaring or something. I see a shadow over there. doing you just, you just got stuck or something <laughs> oh man <laughs> that was good that was good that was good that was good uh, i wish there was a little bit of build up in that one it, it'd be funny if you would have started like roaring like the you know like the you know it would have really scared her but either way she got super scared regardless i don't think it really mattered what you did i think if she saw a giant bear walking up to her she probably wouldn't get scared regardless so either way if you guys like the video, give this video a big thumbs up. Give this video to 30 likes if you guys want to do some more. Also, hit the subscribe button down below. It's very much appreciated. I love y'all. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.